Oh, really, Professor? What's up? We're back. I was actually going to do a half episode, even though I said last time I wasn't going to. But then I couldn't leave the village without starting the actual mission. So I decided there wouldn't be a half episode. So I didn't film one, so I still have all these requests around everywhere that need to get done that I have not done. And instead, we're going to go stop Kamado. Freaking icons. Icons on everything. Wait, how much money do I have? Not enough. All right. It's time to leave. We got to make our way up Mount Cornet and stop Kamado. Who seems to be like he's just the biggest fool of this whole entire game. And that's including having the dude that oversees Electro. Kamado feels like the biggest fool. Did you find the commander, MC? He's already left. The commander is already at Mount Cornet. Already? How could a grown man like Commander Kamado be so reckless? Exactly. First expelling UMC, and now this? I think he needs a stern talking to. As the leader of the Pearl Clan, loyal to Almighty Sinnoh who reigns over all of space, I can go anywhere in the vast history I please. And now I'm going to go stop the commander. Huh. Who is the reckless one? Still Kamado. Hey, you got run out of the village, right? But you still try to find a way to help us all. Yeah, that's right. That's right. MC worked hard to get that red chain to help us. Two rights. And a fine job he did, too. The Survey Corps is always hard at work for the sake of everyone here in the village. And as well as for the sake of our relations with Pokemon. Here. Thanks. Here, take this. Thank you, little girl. You obtain a Max Revive, which is apparently the first time I've ever gotten one in a game. A medicine that could be used to revive a single Pokemon that has fainted. It also fully restores a Pokemon's max HP. Well, I knew what it did, but I just don't think I've seen one in this game. All right, bye, Yuzu. Your orders are three. One, make it to the summit camp, and from there to the Temple of Sinnoh. Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. And three, return here alive. I can do those. And here we go. Whenever we finish loading. Oh, look, there's that annoying dude over there in the corner now. I've heard the latest. So you've accepted, been accepted back to the Galaxy team, have you? I suppose congratulations are in order. Here, some max potions for me to celebrate. Do I even have room for these? We obtained three max potions. A topical medicine meant to be applied to Pokemon and can be used to completely restore the max HP of a single Pokemon. It looks like the big moment is up, is upon us at last. But no doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Adamant and Irida have headed to the peak as well. My good friend MC, I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal customers. I barely bought anything from you. It seems Kamado intends to use the summit camp as a base of operations for his, this undertaking. As for me, I think I'll set up shop closer to the temple itself. Gee, I wonder why. Oh, it's you. Things certainly seem to have gone out of hand. Well, if anything goes wrong, the great melee will be here for more support at least. Yeah, because I bet you're useless otherwise. At least that's how you're showing yourself to be. All right. I might need to clear some space. 
So let's see about getting stuff out of here. Move all at once. Move all at once. I had a lot of black tumblestone. I barely use it. That's the reason why I have so much of it. Uh, for a fact. All right, we'll go with that much. And I want to make some Ultra Balls. And am I happy with the team that I have with me? Yeah, as happy as I'm going to be. All right. Let's climb the mountain. Nope, we're not doing requests right now. We are climbing the mountain. Over there is the... Luxray, right? Wait, I don't think I've caught a Voltorb. Let me get on that. Look at this Voltorb. Don't see me, don't see me. I'm gonna start climbing right now. I guess I didn't catch it. That sucks. Oh well. Keep going up. We gotta climb. Make our way up the mountain. Sounds like both Vigars saw me. Oh, hey! I'll take this. Please no. Vigar, stay away. Stay away. Oh, would you look at that? That Electabuzz looks so tiny next to that. It's kind of cool. Ooh, there's a dude here. I bet he's not going to let me through because he don't know that I'm back. Guess who's back? It's me! Hold on, before we talk to him. Let's go ahead and hit this. Hello, Galaxy member. This is a stone portal. I've been told not to let anyone pass. But really, I'm not sure what the point is any longer. Think you could... Think you could go ask for me? Yeah, sure, I'll go ask. Excuse me, dude at the front want to know what's the point. Sounds kind of eerie. It's kind of dark in here. Wait, this is a landing. Should be Pokemon here, right? No? Who this? Who the? Who? Wait. This is Benny. Potato Mochi Man. What is he doing here? Oh, ho. still alive and kicking. Sorry about having to shuffle how to shutter the wallflower. I'd much rather be there now, serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. But that taskmaster Kamado has gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to put even those old these old bones to work. While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time we got rid of you once and for all. Why are you? What is your problem? Are you serious? I'll make myself plain. It's Kamado's right hand. I'm in charge of executing all the gritty deeds Kamado can't or won't do himself. I gave him my word that I'd get rid of any fools that, fool that might dream of getting in the way of his plans. What the heck are his plans? Besides, it's not just Kamado who longs to live in a new home free of fear and strife. His dream is now mine too. Then why are you both being idiots? you see my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is how you're meant to use them. When I heard he managed to quell those nobles one after another, oh, did it ever make my blood run hot and my heart pound. Why? Because you wanted me to let them run wild? At last. At last. One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques that have been left... To molder all these long years. So you're just a battle nut. So Galaxy seems still got to have some evil in it regardless. 
I see how it is. Can I move first, though? Would that be cool with you? Cool. Why does it make no difference between regular and agile? Why? Either way, Infernal Parade. Oh, word? A max potion, huh? What about now? Still nothing. Word. This is weird. I hate it. Thank you for the crit. Thank you for that crit. Part of a... Oh, my... What about that? Still nothing. What is the point of an agile move? It don't do nothing. It works for all of them all the time. It never does anything for me. Unless I'm going up against something that's, like, really weak to me. There you go, the agile style. You'll be able to move twice, though. Because that will make sense. It works for you, but not for me. Glad you got burned. See, look, there it goes again. Now with the strong... Why can't I do that? It never lets me do that. Why? Okay. Yeah, you deserve to get burned. Steel Dragon, that's not going to be good. This works. Should be my move anyway. But who knows? Let's see, what do we want to do? I can move twice regardless? Oh, it's because I did a strong move, that's why. Let's go. Poison Jab. Why do you get to go freaking first? Oh, we swapping. So it's fighting. This will be the move. I'm gonna shadow ball it. Of course, for some reason, he gets to go first. Agile stop. Finally, it works. Can I see Alakazam when you zoom in on him like that, please? Please, game. I wish it worked again, but it didn't. What do you got last? The heck is your typing? You're poison dark now? Poison Dark. Uh, let's give it a try. We'll do high horsepower. Oh, he's turning around like... Oh, wait, no. I don't want anything to do with this. High horsepower. Away! Yeah, just by sheer size when it charges at you like that, you should probably not have any health left. Mammoth Swine is a beast. It seems my mighty ninja techniques will soon be co-signed to history. It's fine. Just stop being a jerk. Very good, young one. Very good indeed. It's only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target, they know they can't, cannot beat. To be honest, I don't hate you. Might actually like you after a fashion. At least for the skill you show in battle. But listen well, MC. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Kamado and I saw our hometown burned to the ground by Madden Pokemon running amok. Where are you from originally? I want to know where you're from. We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. That's why Kamado came here to the Hisui, to try to build a new home where people can live free from fear. But to achieve something truly great, you sometimes have to take extreme actions. And foolish ones, too! If, hypothe if hypothe hypothetical as it may be, a Pokemon were to appear from within the space-time rift, Kamado might lose hold of his reason. He already has! Save Kamado from himself. By force, if you must. Do that. 
and I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than a human stomach can. That's okay. You don't have to do that. And seriously, why is it always potato mochi? Also, I'll take this. Thank you. Now, Benny, never bug me again. If you ever gonna talk to me again, you gotta be polite from now on. No more of this nonsense where you're always rude. Because you've always been rude. Um. Can I go up here? I don't want to go up here. Is this our... There's a green mist around. That's kind of weird. Volo is right here, and there's Adaman and Irda. Well, this is it. Have you brought everything you need? I can't afford anything because dual charges so much to get in your pockets to make you have bigger pockets. Here, uh, take that. Is there anything else I could sell for good money? I don't think snowballs will go for much. If I'm being honest. Uh, yeah, no, I think we're at a loss here. Hey, you two. You better take that red chain up to the top of the mountain. The Pokemon threatening to descend on the peak at any moment. I think it may be Almighty Sinnoh. But all this has to, to be stopped. And you're the only one who could do it. Almighty Sinnoh seems to be nearly here. But still, the commander obstructs us. Well, I'll go up there and give him a piece of my freaking mind. That jerk. Yo, Kamado. As you can see, I am not dead. You again. I've heard the red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together. Keep me as it's meant to be. A welcome idea. But can I truly put my faith in such tales? I'd say trust me, but he obviously doesn't since he kicked me out of the village without any reasoning other than you fell from the sky, so goodbye. So of course. Commander, please be reasonable. I understand that you're bound to protect your people as commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. I have the same duty towards my clan. But downing MC like this, you're not just wrong. You're a Fool. That's right. Hang your head in shame. Perhaps you're right. She is right. But if I were to simply place my faith in this boy, and that faith were to be betrayed, then how could I f possibly face my people? Well, how about the fact that since you betrayed me, how can you go back and face your people when it's proved that I didn't do nothing wrong? You may think you're the only one desperate to protect the people of Jubilife, but you're not. MC is putting his life on the line as well. The whole frickin' time. Fine. Enough. Let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Face me with your Pokemon, MC. Today we battle in earnest. I thought we were in Hisui. Show me what you got, Kamado, you fool. Throw it out. For very. You are flying psychic now, I believe. You're probably gonna move first, aren't you? Nope, it's me. I love when it's me. Let me just go hard from the start. Strong style. Goodbye, Bravari. Next! Snorlax. He's gonna have a move that can hit me, isn't he? Yep! Saw that coming. Um. 
This might be my best move. This won't do much to Gujra, right? Yeah, I want a good view of this battle. Let's go with... It doesn't make a difference which one I do. Let's go a regular Dragon Pulse. I didn't do much. Strong style, what are you gonna do? Oh, right. Steel is weak to ground. I freaking hate your eye out horsepower. Go, Mammal Swine. Let's go, Agile Style, with our own high horsepower. And then we'll finish you off with the regular. Golem. I can beat that. With the bat. Double edge. That shouldn't do much. You get to move up. How dare you attack me? And I'll style with ice. Why does Mammoth Swine get to pull this off all the time? Why can Typhlosion never? Uh, barely hung on. You gotta be freaking kidding. Doesn't make a difference. And now you got one. The Fable. I know how to beat it. How come Rose Raid is coming in so clutch for me? Rose Raid is like actually being the one. Strong style it. I'm not gonna waste no time. I feel like it could die with this one hit. Yep. Thank you, Rose Raid. Yep, beautiful. It's true. Take that, idiot. Any Pokemon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. Can you, like, chill out already? No moves. You truly are a force to be reckoned with. Okay. Nice, good towing. MC, the fates have decided. I can see you. And I apologize sincerely for doubting you. Commander Kamado. I know I have no right to ask it of you any longer, but please use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition team. No, for the sake of the Celestic... Celestica people and all the Pokemon living in Hisui. Yeah, I'll do it. Don't you worry, Commander. We've got the red chain. Why do you keep moving up? I want you to stay away, dude. And hold on, before we go any further. What are these fast moves that they got? Change moves. Finally you learned Thunder! Holy crap. I've been waiting for so long. And also, I kinda need to go with this. Why does it only have 5 PP? With a 75 accuracy? That's trash! Whatever. I'm doing it anyway. Alright, and what do you got, Rose Raid? You got new moves too. Bye, Energy Ball. What else we got? Stunts. I need this. You know what? I'm doing it. Just because I want more chances 
to paralyze the Pokemon that we're going to end up catching. Do we have anything else that we want to learn something different? I need to get rid of your shelter. There's no point. There's no point in you having that move. Why do you have so many water moves? And steel moves. Where's all your dragon moves? Spread it all out. Okay, Typhlosion, you haven't learned anything recently that I could use, right? That's more than Infernal Parade. Yeah, it's better that way. That's what we're rolling with. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody else that needs to learn anything else? Not that I can think of. This is the only one left I haven't checked. Okay, yeah. No, we're good. Volo! See you at the top. Where'd everybody go? Look, we're here in Cleaver. Oh, wait, no, they just shot me down the mountain. I thought he was closer. Guess I was wrong. Yeah, everybody else got closer. I got put further away. Hold up a second. We can ride on this. We help this. We can ride on this. We help this. We can ride on this. And we can help this. And then we can ride on this and help this. And then we help. We can ride on this and we help this. Because this is where it's at. All right, guys, we're ready to get down to business. Come on, now's the time. Use the red chain. But wait, what? What is this? There's a voice in my head. No, in my heart? It's speaking to me. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then. Whoa, Irida. Do you hear what you're saying? Catch you? Uh, Almighty Sinnoh? I think Almighty Sinnoh may be speaking to me. It's telling me... You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then. For the fight to come. Take these. These all trolls? Thank you! Let's get down to business! Oh, here we go. Now, who's popping out the portal? Arceus, Palkia, Dialga, Giratina. It's Palkia. Is this because I chose Irida? The chain broke. Yeah, let's get to scrap and Palkia. Wait, I don't have who I want out front. Well, we'll go till Typhlosion faints. Shadow Ball. I won't defeat it. It's not super effective. I'm probably defeated though. Yep, there I go. Luxray, your turn. Why do you get to go again? And with another super effective. I hate you. Rose Raid, go. I would like to have a move, please. Stuns for. And avoided. 
Do it again. Thank you. My gosh. Spatial Rando. Poison Jab. This should not kill it. This might not even get it into... Okay, got it into orange. You can use it again? Galakazam. I don't think I can hit it with anything else. Except for Ultra Balls. I think this is the only thing I can hit it with. Please just get caught. Please don't be as difficult as you are in the main games. We got Palkia. Which, by the way, I hate when people act like Arceus' main story. It's not really. It's kind of spin-off. Caught it. Hey, when did you two get here? He caught it, right? He caught Almighty Sinnoh. That's Palkia. Red Chain's been shattered. But we still got a Pokemon of the lakes to thank for getting this for getting this far. Oh, well done, MC, my boy. Masterfully handled. I was watching the whole time as you battled and caught your way to a simply stunning victory. You truly are the pride of the Survey Corps. Looks like I taught him well. Ah, I can hear all my Yusino. No, it's it's called Palkia. Mighty Palkia is speaking to me in my mind. Space time grows chaotic. The power fails. The frenzied one. It comes now to fight. That's why I'm here. You're telling me there's another one? But the red chain's been smashed to bits. No way even MC could tackle another Pokemon. As strong as that last one now. No, I probably could. Here comes Dialga. So much more intimidating than Palkia. Let's be real here. Should I get Palkia and then come back? Who thought that would be the way to say what he roared? All of you, we must vacate this. Gah! We got the fancy talk. Book it. Come on. We got to make it back to the summit camp while we still can. We need to leave before this other Almighty Sinnoh decides it wants to fight us. But, Commander, we can't just leave it here. You dunce! You won't be of any use if you die up here in this mountain. What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get go. We gotta get gone. All I need is Palkia, don't I? Such dreadful power. It's certainly beyond our curtain capabilities to survey such a creature. I'm amazed you even managed to stay on your feet before it, MC. And did you notice the energy pouring out of the rift? It seemed like it was a buildup of the same energy that was caused that caused the strange lightning that threw the noble Pokemon into their frenzied states. So our two clans truly were following All My Sinnoh, but both were real? What a shocking turn of events. To say nothing of the shock of hearing the commander speak so differently. I must apologize from the bottom of my heart. To the both of you. As fellow leaders, you saw the truth I could not. You never abandoned the trust in MC. And to you, MC, I acted on ill-considered presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition Team, forcing you to face great hardship alone. Despite all that, you still strove to save all of Hisui. This isn't the time to be talking calmly, you know? Well... It's not like we could just sit back and ignore the space-time rift. And we understood, Commander, that you had a reasons to act as you did. Commander, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? You've still left things in quite a state at the temple. That's the stuff, Professor. You'd rather face what's in front of us than dwell on the past, huh? 
Just what I ex expect from a real scientist. Dependable attitude indeed. Yes, let us move on. No need to speak any further of my rash actions. Not to mention my loss of composure. He just doesn't want to talk about it. Seems that MC... Having MC about has been a good influence on all. That's only natural. MC is strong enough to defeat even this new opponent single-handedly. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Did you forget that the red chain broke? We'll be all right. Armed with the knowledge... Armed with the knowledge mighty Palkia imparted to me. Palkia, the Pokemon that talked to you. Yes, it told me its name, but that's not all. It also told me this. The stone of cre creation's beginning. The red chain. The vessel of humankind's invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now, disturbing the flow of time. And then, mighty Palkia might go with us back to the temple, it said. Well, that red chain is in pieces now. But if little bits will do, I gather those. And the vessels of human invention. I dare say it might refer to a Pokeball. That's got to be it. But what about the Stone of Creation's beginning part? Leon might have some idea. He's knowledgeable about the stones and minerals. He even goes digging for ore sometimes. Is that so? Then Warden Leon should be a fine resource to consult. And what are your thoughts, Professor Lavington? Professor Lavington, do you have any idea of what the stone could be? The adamant ore, maybe? Oh, upon my word, perhaps I do. You see, my boy, can you lend me those plates you received from Weirdeer and the others? The ones that Volo said had the messages engraved upon them. Yeah, sure, uh, you could take these plates. Ah, I just remembered. Here on the back of the earth plate, it says. When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. I think that this may be a hint to what we need. How do you mean? Don't you see? We must search for a stone, or rather ore, I suppose, that shares the same material properties as these plates. In fact, I believe that young Leon might know just where to find such a thing. As he said, he'd be been investigating it at Volo's urging. Now that you mention it, that Volo fellow come around the Diamond Settlement asking about those plates before, too. This seems like a lead worth following. It's decided, then. Thus begins our search for the Stone of Creation's beginning. Although the name is rather a mouthful, once you say... I propose we call it Origin Ore. Mission, the counterpart. Activate. Let's go. Irida, may we ask for your clan's aid uh, once more? Of course. I'll call the end of the summit camp at once. This summit camp? It's quite a hike. I waited as long as anyone could reasonably expect, but my invitation never came. So I decided to honor you all with my unsolicited visit. Be glad and rejoice. Now, Adamon, I see all those other louts ha have their little task to be getting on with. But what of the great melee? Where's the role in my role in all this? I'm your leader, melee. Show us true to respect, would you? Fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job, great leader Adamon, and make it a good one. You want a job? Fine. Your job is to support the others. All the other wardens are busy looking after their nobles and keeping the people of our clans from panicking. Take a hint! Oh, Adaman. Oh, oh, oh. You silly, foolish boy. Don't you understand anything? Everyone has has work they must... they are suited to do. Suited to, and work they are not. Oh, and oh, before I forget... It seems you weren't entirely useless after all, Galaxy Team Runt. Well done, you. Take this as a reward for your affordable efforts. Just my way of encouraging the little people. And you're all so welcome to compare. You're all so little compared to me. Thank you for the candy troubles. I brought Lee in. 
Quiche, that ugly hat suits you as poorly as this important role does. I don't like this at all. I should be the one consulted for my wisdom. You're not wise at all. Isui's ores and stones are her precious resource. Since I was the first to realize that fact, it's only natural that I be the first consulted. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take it up with Cleaver in battle. With that bumbling ball of yours. That bumbling ball might actually be stronger. Excuse me? That bumbling ball is more than capable of zapping both you and that ugly bug of yours all the way back to your stupidly oversized tree. Shall we prove it to you now? Melee, give it a rest and play nice with the Pearl Clan folks for once, would you? Bigger things are at stake here. But Adam, man, everyone back home is all worked up because the Pearl Clan got to speak to Almighty Sinnoh or Palkia or whatever. Do you want them to hog all the glory? Warden Leon, if you would. Certainly. Then let us set out once. Make our way to Primeval Grotto. What is that? This way? All right, let's go. This Wait, is that tree still shaking? It is still shaking. This was bugging me the whole time. Let's just fight it. It's just a freaking Burmary again. The music was even hesitant to change because it wasn't a big deal. All right, let's get moving. What is that? I thought I was, is that just a crack? Okay. Sorry, I'm going up in the sky. Screw you guys. I'm flying to my destination and none of you are welcome. Hold on. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. I want to see about... No. There we go. This should work. Didn't work. We're flying out of here again. No, no, no. You stay away, Luxray. I just wanted to get a stronger one than the one I had. That's all. I saw the nose pass and I was like, what is that? I didn't register those nose pass so I saw the other one. Everything looks so big. Like all the Pokemon down there. Where are we going exactly? In that tunnel? That's being blocked by the Purple Pass? Well, I guess we could deal with the Purple Pass as we go past. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You just get caught. Thank you. Okay, Probo Pass. Woo. You, you stupid little mustache. Get caught. Wait, I wasn't mean to do this. Sorry, I'm going in. Goodbye. Oh, hi. Are That's right, nose pass. Don't mind me. Fossils? Fossils? I saw the fossils. Mastodon. Oh, actually, I didn't want to do this. Nose pass is just looking at him, fossils. He's like, that was a big, chunky fellow. Thank you for getting clocks. Oh, wait. There's a Cranidos here, too. Please. I want them. Please. Didn't work. I was only willing to throw a Pokeball. Anything more would have been doing too much. Why didn't I drag Kalki out into my party? What was I thinking? 
Bro. Well, whatever it is that we're looking for, it's here. The origin war, I guess. What a curious cave. I feel some extraordinary power here. As if the world itself was created in this very place. What do you think, Leon? Yeah, what do you think? Taking in consideration my knowledge of ores, my mi skill at mining, and the strength of my Silgo's moves, or Silgoos, I think you better leave my extraction work, leave any extraction work up to us. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, go for it. I don't have a pickaxe. We're going to have to ask you to stop right there. So sisters, is it? Yep. Oh, come on. Who's there? We don't have any time to waste with... Clover? We haven't seen you since you walked out of the clan. Where have you been all this time? Huh. I don't have to tell you nothing. Look, you can carry on digging out this treasure you're after, and then you'll give it to us. I don't know why you think... Why you look so surprised. It's not as if you were hard to follow. I flew here. Well, maybe you're following them. What we seek may be... What we seek may be as precious as treasure. But this isn't how valuable it is. We need it to restore the awful sky to normal. Ugh. That earnest goody two-shoes act of yours is what made me lead the Pearl Clan in the first place. Enough. I don't care why any of you ran off to play Bandit. But I won't let you get in, in Leon's way. There are three of you and three of us. Let's go, MC. You take charm. Okay. Can we just do like a... Triple battle, I guess it would be? I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go. And I'll... And ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest. And I'll be your unlucky charm. Especially in this. The battle of a lifetime. Just fight me already. So this right on is what you're working with, huh? Let me switch it up. It's weaker in level, but it'll one-shot you. Goodbye. Next. Let's fixate on using this pedal dance. Hypnosis. That's fine. I was planning to switch anyway. Uh, yeah, let's just go with Alex Zam. They're kind of even with each other, but, you know, still, I'll probably win. And... Ah, psychic would be better. Let's just get you out of here. Goodbye! Well... You are rather formidable. Of course I am. I called a Palkia. What have you done? Come on, Clover. Why don't you come back to the Diamond Clan? Times are changing. We're changing. We could really use someone as strong as you are. Are you joking? I've got no interest in living back at that place with all its stupid rules. Look. We'll let you keep your treasure this time, but you'd better do something about that sky. You really are as strong as ever, MC. Maybe you really can do something about that monstrous creature at the top of the mountain. So you know! But even if you do, the next time we meet, you won't escape without a beating. Remember that. Look, all three of you can take me on at once. It won't be a thing. Idiots. Honestly, those three. What did they even come here for? 
Oh well, I'll heal up everyone's Pokemon. That's not really necessary, unless Rose Raid was still drowsy. The coin that I remember never hesitated to help someone in need, even if she browsed as she did so. I suspect that they may have been worried about us, perhaps even wanting to help. That was wanting to help? Delaying us? And they should have said so. What a pain they are, hiding behind all that attitude. Yeah, I'm with Adam in on that. I was able to extract some of the origin ore, or whatever you wish to call it. Suppose it had better go with UMC. I'll take it. You attain a piece of origin ore. Origin ore. An ore of mysterious powers spoken in the ancient myths and said to contain the powder of almighty Sinnoh itself. That was surprisingly easy. No, you simply failed to recognize my skill. You ought to be praising my hard work, honestly. I knew we could count on you, Leon. No wonder Cleaver recognizes you as a worthy warden. Let's hurry back to Mr. Professor and show him what we got. That Levinson's got sound judgment, plus knowledge to spare, despite his silly streak. Leon makes a very good point. A lot of times we just think that because someone's able to do something easily, it's not hard work. Really, it's very easy for people to learn how to do something well and then just pull it off seamlessly. This is one of the reasons why I get frustrated when it comes to editing podcasts, trying to find a job to do it. Because it's something that takes knowledge how to do it properly. And nobody wants to hire for it because they feel like they could do it the dag themselves. Hold on, I should use these things so I can clear out some space. So it'd be an easy job for me to do just because I know how to do it easily. But other people will look at a doll and just not have any clue of what they're doing. Or even if they know how to use the doll, they still might know, not know exactly how they're supposed to process vocals to be listened to consistently. And therein lies my frustration with having to deal with trying to find a job with my skill set that no one ever seems to want to hire for. So I'm always looking, but no one ever seems to want to hire. If they do, they always ask for way more than what they should be asking for. Like, I had one that I found where basically they wanted you to do the whole entire podcast without being the voice. They wanted you to do do the research, schedule the meetings, find the talent, edit everything, create transcripts. Like, nah, that's a team thing. If you wanted to be successful, that is a team job. You got to hire a team, not just one person. Be like, here, do all of this. And we'll give you about seven other podcasts to do on top of this. No. Okay, yeah, you and your plan, you don't know what you're hiring for. Sorry for venting. It's just my frustrations. These are my frustrations. All right, before we talk to the professor, I kind of want to see if I can sneak by him and get Palkia in this party. I'll take out Gudra. Craft. Wrong. Galaxy member. I want to see my Pokemon. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Look at his big boy. Move. Bye, Gudra. Sorry. And Professor. Ha. Ah. So this is the stone of creation's beginning. The origin ore. Hmm, yes. I can certainly feel an imposing aura emanating from it. Could this be the feeling of very origin itself? I didn't mean to ask since you brought that up, but origin of what exactly? Of everything by the sound of it. Exactly, my girl. Now then, back we go to Jubilee Village. Wait, to the village? Why are we going back to the village? Because he got to process it or something? All right, Professor. All right, Mr. Professor. It's all in pieces now, but this is what's left of the red chain. Splendid. Even in pieces, I think we'll find it's still perfectly fit for purpose. We're jolly lucky you had the foresight to pick up all these broken bits back at the temple. Your turn, MC. Next comes the Stone of Creation's beginning. 
Why am I handing it to her? Fragments of the red chain collected at the great personal risk by the Diamond Clan. And the Stone of Origins, a uh, Stone of Creation's Beginnings, which we only learned thanks to the Pearl Clan. And now it's time for the Galaxy team to play its part and turn these items into a proper vessel. I mean, is this how we make a Master Ball? Akari, my girl. You're one of the team's greatest craftspeople. Could I ask you to do the honors? This is my true battlefield, MC. Even if it may be safe indoors, this may take some time. Perhaps the rest of you would best wait outside while we work. I'd love if I could do the half episode after this, but I'm not sure I could. What's wrong? Come on, Professor. I wish they'd hurry up in there. I'm starting to suspect all of your prattle about the value of time is a cover for your own impatience. If sitting back and waiting actually solve things, i sit back forever, because that'd be using time well. I'm like this. They're using their time well. We just don't know what we're supposed to be doing at the time. We've done it! MC! It's completed? Is that what he said? I want to see it pop up on stream. Yeah, it's complete. I dub it the origin ball. If the message conveyed to our good clan leader can be believed, then this should allow you to catch the Pokemon that has appeared at the Temple of Sinnoh. Just one throw go, like a Master Ball. You attain an Origin Ball. It's all red. A singular and irreplaceable Pokeball that can be used to catch a frenzied Pokemon raging at the Temple of Sinnoh. It reminds me of special event balls. Do you know how they're like completely red? Kind of reminds me of that. These Pokeballs of yours are full of wonders. To think that the fate of all Hisui could rest in something so tiny. It's interesting how catching a Pokemon in one of these things brings the two of you closer together. But wait, please, I hear something. The voice is speaking in my mind again. You mean Palkia? Yes, it appears that mighty Palkia is willing to lend its strength to us in this battle. Now that's what I like to hear. The Pearl Clan's almighty Sinnoh. Well, I guess I should call it Palkia. Is one fierce Pokemon. Everything's ready, MC. Now, MC, take the Origin Ball and hurry back to the Temple of Sinnoh together with Palkia. I already got it in the party. And out we go. Hold on, I want to see if... I can actually make it all the way to the gate and then have an option to choose where I'm going to go. So I'm going to end it off now and I'll do a half episode in between. Oh, look who it is. It's a... Uh... Bogeta? I forget her name completely. Bogeta. And here you are, lost one. Ready to face your fate at top Mount Cornets. It seems a vicious battle might await you. I'll go where I must. Oh, well said. Now, hearken to my words, young ones. Time cannot be severed from space, nor space from time. The being you will encounter at the Temple of Sinnoh is Dialga, ruler of time. If it is allowed to run wild, Time itself will twist and bend here in Hisui, and eventually the very world may be broken. But you have the aid of its counterpart, Palkia, the ruler of space, and therein lies hope. Balance will be brought to time and space, and the world can once again be as it should. Now take Palkia at your side, and make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. Yes, ma'am. I will do so. I must say... This is quite the intriguing village. Perhaps I'll have a look around before I go. See what your clothier has on offer. Excuse me. Is it time for shopping? Well, it's hardly the time for shopping at the world's ends. Will I? Well, I'll hardly have time for shopping at the world's ends, will I, young man? Fair point. All right, MC. Once you feel ready, set out. We'll make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. 
Let's see, let's see, let's see. Do I have options? I have options! With that being said, I'm not doing it today. I'm doing it next time. I'm going to be doing a half episode this time. So that's going to be it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, when I do all of these quests that have been waiting for me. Deuces! I mean, deuces, deuces, deuces. Here we go. I didn't want a marker to be in front of my face. So I wrote it in the rhyme. The Reverend Doctor got an 8K wet working. The roaches get the race spray. My weak rhyme, my body, your best verses on game day. I touch the crowns of self entitled kings. You leave the heat like LeBron when I melt your idols, vital things. This is Malcolm and Martin, Million Man March and Sparta. Mixed with a legion of angels surrounding sons and daughters. Simon Peter with a desert.